Okay, this is my latest pickup. It's the mint green head, Woolworths man. So if you notice, the head's quite light in terms of colour compared to the regular figure. There's his blaster. And this is often described as the mint green PBP or Meccano Woolworths man. Very nice figure. Because of these bars there, you can't really make out the country of origin stamps. Because there's quite a lot of variations with the stamps stamping on this figure. You can see the grading there. So this is 1978 Kenneth Star Wars loose action figure, Wars Man, Pink Tusk, Light Green Head, U85 Near Mint. Nice figure. See his hands are quite light. Best thing to do is to show the, uh, another figure of a Wars Man. So this is the I date stamp, which is most likely a PvP figure. So it says Star Wars Wars Man number se 1978, no number one stamp, no markings. UKG graded 85%. And I think you can see that his head is a lot darker. So are the hands. But the blue on here, this one is lighter. The orange on this is probably slightly brighter. So whether they come, both come from Spain is debatable. They look great together. Very nice figure, the mint green. And here's the dark, darker green. Eye stamps, or, the, or number one stamps. So if you look at the back of the leg, so you can make it out. There's a little one just there on the back of the leg. Just see it there. That's all that remains of the country of origin and all the information. They just left that little one just about there. No markings. That's UKG graded. This one's AFA graded. So they look great together. I mean, the tusks are both pink. That's the light green head, and that's the darker green head of the eye stamp. Wait for the camera to focus. Look great together. <coughs> so, really nice figure this one. Quite a major variation, the light green head Wolves Man. So is the eye stamp. You need to get a Hong Kong regular version. I've got a few of these carded. I've got him on the Empire Strikes Back card. Star Wars 21 back or 20 back. I think it's 21 back. And the Palatoy 45 back Return of the Jedi card. Very nice. Pretty cool. So that's the I stamp. That's I mean one stamp. And this is the mint green. I'm trying to get a good sh shot of the mint green. They look really good together. Here's the more modern Black Series version of Pondabara or Wars Man. So you sandwich between two vintage figures. Look good together. So you can see how far sculpting's come. Got accurate weapon, accurate sculpting, accurate costume. Can switch out the hands and the arm. Brilliant figure this. And there he is with the mint green. Got 
This figure's pretty valuable on the Vintage Collection card, VC70. And I can show you some images of the carded version from this book here. So that's how he looked on the Star Wars card. That's on the Empire. And there's the Jedi. And he didn't make it to the tri logo. So that's something he never came on. So they're the three figures. And in America he was sold on the Kenner card, but the on Return of Jedi card, but the figure was made in Spain. But not on all the Kenner Return of Jedi figures. But still this is a really nice variation. Mint green Wars Man. Old light green, very nice figure. And I pulled the trigger on Sunday. And it came on, I think I collected it on Thursday. So, and really nice figure. So, two of the major Wars Man variants. Okay, next Thursday will be my 10th anniversary on YouTube, so I've, I'm starting to make some videos for that, so stay tuned. Okay, cheers, goodbye.